Yellow Demon Realm is back. And in this video, I am going to show you the best way to grind fragments. But before we start, you can show your support by using Starcode Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actor slam. Oh, they're yes. dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so are you ready to have unlimited fragments? But guys, did you know that there are 11 or 12 ways to grind fragments in the third C? I'm gonna show it to you guys. First one is Zarina Trainer. Remember this one? Located in the Hydra Island. So guys, you can do this once per hour. So you're gonna get a quest and defeat the dummy. Guys, the, this mob heals every two seconds, if not hit. Guys, again, this is not a good way to grind frags. I'm just showing it to you. Just in case you don't know, you will get 200 frags from doing this one. Number two. Guys, the ship raid. Okay. So guys, while you're sailing in the seas, there's a high chance that three ships will attack you. Guys, you can get fragments from defeating the ships. You can use burst AoE skills to defeat them. So as you can see, I am using magma fruit. And it only took me 8 seconds to defeat all three ships. If you were able to defeat them, you can get 200 fragments. And just a reminder, there is a chance that you might not fight them because of number three and that is the sea beasts so while you're sailing on the seas you can also fight this creature you guys uh regarding the rumbling event i won't be including it because sea beasts spawn more often additional information this is the fastest way to grind money yes sea beasts anyway guys to make things short both ship raids and sea beasts not good for grinding frags again i'm just showing you all the other ways to grind fragments. By the way, you can get 250 fragments per sea beast. Moving on, number 4. Guys, we got the pirate raid. You guys remember, located in the sea castle. Every 1 hour and 15 minutes, you need to defend the sea castle and defeat pirates. Okay? So again, I suggest you use high damage AoE attacks such as the magma fruit. I know guys, you're thinking, why is your uh, magma fruit not fully awakened? The reasoning here is, I'm kinda lazy to be honest guys. <laughs> but guys, uh, if you awaken your magma fruit, it will be faster, okay? So awaken it. For the reward fragments, we will get 100 fragments. And a fruit guys, yes, a fruit. So if you want to hit two birds with one stone, go for this one. Number 5, guys, the haunted castle. What game or no? How can you get fragments from this one? Head to the Death King. But guys, you will need bones from this one. You can spin 10 times every 2 hours. Okay, 50 bones every spin. So this is kinda luck based. Yes, you need you need to be lucky. So check this out. I got 167. For the second one, I got money. Third one, times 2 experience. The fourth one, I got another money see that guys we're already at our fifth spin we get another money <laughs> six spin there you go 296 fragments seventh spin oh 265 eight spin 160 not bad nine spin oh we get another 174 and the final one money okay so we got a total of 1062 fragments here next up number six head to the sea castle and you need to talk to elite hunter yes you can do elite hunter quest for fragments you can do this quest every 10 minutes so for example talk to him there you go you need to defeat diablo in the hydra island so you just need to find diablo again in the hydra island go so use your observation hockey i suggest observation hockey version 2 you can find him faster with this one there you go there's diablo level 1750 so the higher your level is the faster you will defeat him guys let's defeat him fast check this out we're just using a uh, death step okay. and i will defeat him using the door fruit why because i am increasing the mastery of that fruit even though we've unlocked all the skills i just want to do it which means you can defeat it faster so we're approaching, I think, 20 seconds. Oh, 
21. Okay, there you go. 21 seconds. Going 22. Again, guys, this can be faster. For our number 7, on the list is the Mirage Island. There are lots of purple chests scattered all over this island. Again, I don't suggest this because it's kind of hard to see and hard to summon the Mirage Island, right? Anyway, are you done with the gear quest? You need to find that here in this island in order to like uh, pull the lever and open the door to the trials. Anyway guys, uh, for 15 minutes I was roaming around the island and I was able to gather 1131 fragments. Next up on the list, boss fights. Yes, you can also gather fragments from boss fights. First on the list is Indra. Yes, you need uh, Gans Chalice, right? Also, you need Buddha Fruit to solo him. If you want to grind fast, guys, I don't suggest this because there are lots of requirements. There you go. Also, for the reward, you will get 1,500 fragments plus drops. Number 9, the Cake Prince. Also, guys, lots of requirements. Hard to defeat, solo. So again, I don't suggest this. You can get 1,000 fragments, 3 level ups plus drops. Number 10, Doe King. So again, hard to beat, but you will get 2k fragments. Aside from that, you can also get 6 levels, drops, red key, and mirror fractals. And now, finally, for the best way to grind fragments, and the third C is the Awakening Raids. So guys, you can do this unlimited times as long as you have money, fruits, and friends. Because again, you can take turns in starting a raid. If you don't have friends, it's fine guys. Okay, no friends, it's fine. As long as you have the Buddha Fruit, you have the Gold Mask. Also, one more tip. The easiest raid for me is the Flame Raid. So better choose that in starting a raid. Okay, so I'm gonna show it to you guys. Just one fast raid. So guys, you can use M1. Fight style or sword when using Buddha, that is the fastest way as you can see, there you go. For every raid, again, there are 5 islands. Go. Okay, so guys, with friends, this is very easy, right? You can finish this faster. Again, guys, imagine you have 2 or 3 more friends and they have lots of fruits. You can take turns in starting a raid. There you go. So for the first 3 islands, it's very easy. I'm not saying that the 4th and the 5th island is hard, but on the first 3, there are no tanky mobs, okay? So 4th island, there's a tanky mob, it will, it will take you uh, a longer time to finish, but again, it's still easy as long as you have the Buddha fruit. Go, we're almost done. Okay, so on the final island guys, it has a boss and... My only tip here is avoid getting pushed in the lava. Okay, so once you get pushed, there's high damage. Also, you can use Gold Race and the Gold Mask to improve your lifesteal. Yes, and that's it. There will be no problems finishing this quest. I mean this raid. Also, guys, if you finish it faster, you can get the maximum fragments. And that is 1,000 fragments. Okay, so again... Can solo this six minutes again solo so if you're doing it continuously without friends you can get 10k frags per hour okay okay again you can use any fruit to get the raid chip last but not the least party shop guys you can buy frags using confettis oh and one more thing if you want you can buy fragments using robux okay so guys last question is there a faster way to grind fragments comment it in the comment section again i hope that you enjoyed this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and gamer nom out